top most mysterious places on earth. Alaska's Bermuda Triangle. You've probably heard legends about planes and ships mysteriously disappearing in the Bermuda Triangle or Devil's Triangle, the area of ocean between Florida, Puerto Rico, and Bermuda. But those legends don't come close to the very real, very serious disappearances that have plagued Alaska for decades. There's a region of wilderness known by names like Alaska's Bermuda Triangle. The border of the Alaskan Triangle stretches from Utkiagavik, formerly known as Barrow, on the state's north coast to Anchorage. and to Juneau across the southern coast and includes vast areas of largely unexplored wilderness. Sprawling forests, icy mountain peaks, and desolate tundras are clearly not the safest places in the world. But, of the hundreds of search and rescue missions conducted every year, state troopers rarely find any trace of bodies, dead or alive. The Alaskan Triangle first received widespread attention when U.S. House Majority Leader Hale Boggs' airplane vanished somewhere between Anchorage and Juneau in 1972. The disappearance triggered one of the country's largest ever search and rescue operations involving 40 military aircraft, 50 civilian planes, and 39 days of searching, an area of 32,000 square miles. Yet the search yielded not a shred of results, no wreckage, no debris, no human remains nothing. That wasn't the only aircraft to be lost either. Back in 1950, a military craft with 44 passengers had disappeared without a trace. And a Cessna 340 carrying a pilot and four passengers vanished in 1990, never to be heard from again. Disappearances without a trace are strangely typical of cases in the region, and the cases aren't rare. Since 1988, more than 16,000 people have vanished in the Alaskan Triangle. This contributes to the annual filing of roughly four missing person reports. For every 1,000 people in Alaska, more than twice the national average. It's easy to write off the disappearances as people getting lost and quickly succumbing to the element. But the numbers seem too staggering for such an easy answer. One potential reason for the disappearing planes, the terrain utterly obliterates them in 1947. Buenos Aires, Argentina to Santiago, Chile, and its fate was unknown for more than 50 years. Two Argentinian climbers found the plane's wreckage while ascending Mount Tupungato in 1998. And investigators concluded that stardust had likely crashed into a nearly vertical glacier, which caused an avalanche that buried it within minutes. Still, it seems unlikely that similar avalanches would have occurred in every plane that's gone missing over the Alaskan Triangle. North Sentinel Island North Sentinel Island is one of the Andaman Islands, an archipelago in the Bay of Bengal, which also includes South Sentinel Island.
it is home to the Sentinelese, a tribe who have rejected, often violently, any contact with the outside world. They are among the last uncontacted people to remain virtually untouched by modern civilization. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands Protection of Aboriginal Tribes Act of 1956 prohibits travel to the island and any approach closer than 5 nautical miles 9.26 kilometers. In order to prevent the resident tribes people from contracting diseases to which they have no immunity, the area is patrolled by the Indian Navy. Nominally, the island belongs to the South Andaman Administrative District, part of the Indian Union Territory of Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Indian authorities recognize the islanders desire to be left alone and restrict their role to remote monitoring, they do not prosecute them for killing people. The island is in effect a sovereign area under Indian protection. In 2018, the government of India excluded 29 islands including North Sentinel from the restricted area permit RAP, regime until 31 December 2022 in a major effort to boost tourism. In November 2018, However, the government's home ministry stated that the relaxation of the prohibition was intended only to allow researchers and anthropologists with pre-approved clearance to visit the Sentinel Islands. The Sentinelese have repeatedly attacked approaching vessels. This resulted in the deaths of two fishermen in 2006 and an American missionary, John Allen Shaw, in 2018. North Sentinel lies 36 kilometers west of the town of Wandor in South Andaman Island, 50 kilometer west of Port Blair, and 60 kilometers north of its counterpart, South Sentinel Island. It has an area of about 59.67 kilometers. 23.04 square miles and a roughly square outline. North Sentinel is surrounded by coral reefs and lacks natural harbors. The entire island, other than the shore, is forested. There is a narrow white sand beach encircling the island, behind which the ground rises, 20 meters, 66 feet, and then gradually to between, 46 meters, 150 feet, 257 and 122 meters, 400 feet, near the center. The 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake tilted the tectonic plate under the island, lifting it by 1 to 2 meters, 3 to 7 feet. Large tracts of the surrounding coral reefs were exposed and became permanently dryland or shallow lagoons. Extending all the island's boundaries by as much as 1 km, 3,300 feet, on the west and south sides and uniting Constance Islet with the main island. The Ange, one of the other indigenous peoples of the Andamans, were aware of North Sentinel Island's existence, their traditional name for the island is Chia, Daa Kwakwia. They also have strong cultural similarities with what little has been remotely observed amongst the Sentinelese. 